Join us as we engage in an insightful conversation with architect Mayan Khemka from Design Acrylect. Delve into his fascinating journey, discover his unique perspectives, and explore his latest project where the special Alu Decor series takes the center stage. It's a story you don't want to miss. My architectural journey, I started with like since like if I talk about my bachelor education. So after I completed my bachelor education, so you know we were learning about architectural concepts, sustainability, a lot of things. But it is when I pursued my masters from London. So there is where I feel like the horizon broadened up, and we understood like more fields and more practical applications, and how like even smaller things can be applied to very larger scale buildings. So that is, I would say, was very keen point in my architectural education, which help us, you know, derive and do the work as we do today. Facade development, I feel, is a very, very keen part in visualizing the architecture and giving a unique form to the buildings. We came to know about Alu Decor through one of the, you know, nice elevation materials, or I would say, sustainable or maybe reusable elevation materials, which can be used. In buildings to give them a you know nice and innovative look. The concept journey for our facade designing goes through about you know firstly depending upon the context, the functions, and the requirement. Definitely, sometimes you need to give keen focus on the client requirements. So Alu Decor I feel is a good product in terms of you know modularity and reusability, and that is what also is a very keen part in selecting the materials that they can be you know like met, like like loud if a lot of metal or timber is being used so you have recycled timber available you have recyclable metal products available which are very good options to use in the facades because then you take care of that sustainability of the product which we are choosing and that is one i would say one as aspect to the facade designing Aesthetics, obviously, there is no such thing as bad, bad aesthetics when you come to your designing good spaces in architecture. There is this project we recently completed some time ago. It was a residential villa in NCR region. It was a very different approach. I would say we took to that particular villa because you know the client, even though with all the modern facilities and amenities, wanted some kind of a traditional look. and which he visualized his house like from the start of the you know seed of the project he visualized his house to be you know one with traditional forms uh, uh, like with pitch roofs and he had a very fascination about you know those pitch roofs and even though you know delhi delhi's context and climate is not very favorable like doesn't need it particularly not the need of the climate i would say but as you know since his his vision was to create those spaces so we took a very modern approach in creating different geometries coming out of one another and creating those pitch roofs in a modern emphasized way not being a traditional very traditional heritage kind of a structure but a very modern outlook to those different geometries which come into play together to form this villa which we did and uh, it created a lot of open semi open spaces keeping mind in using materials which can be reusable little sustainable that is where we put in alu decor as well and uh, the overall enveloped design catered into you know using very different kind of geometries to put in together i think a villa which has more very inside and outside like combining inside and outside spaces in it creating large double height volumes and all those things uh, played a very keen role in you know designing the envelope which envisions the villa i feel future of architecture is uh, very dynamic and i would say like we as designers and the architectural community even the execution con- build the community has to come up very uh, eagerly with you know new solutions and new innovative practices to take the field forward nowadays you know like we see a lot of innovation happening in terms of new products coming out maybe like smart homes a lot of smart features you can see but i'd say that is one part of giving innovation and going towards the future but i was the second part would be maybe as designers and architects should have a research on materials which can have very low impact on the environment 
so like maybe recycled bricks recycled concrete there is a lot of innovation happening on those sectors which i feel like as designers we need to make clients you know aware about these kinds of things which will define the future of the buildings i would say of spaces because you know smart approach is one in terms of technology but it has to be smart in terms of environment as well and we as designers need to have a key role in making those things happen so i think research and development towards this will play a very keen role in shaping our future the louver i feel is a very you know dynamic material because it's a very like even with the very simplicity it provides a very modern and simplistic and elegant looks to all scale of spaces i would say so alu decor i feel is a very you know have a very innovative approach in you know coming up with new products and the range of products is have so i feel like i've seen like even zinc panels and zinc and copper panels being you know marketed and produced by alu decor and now now they have come up with these louvers which i feel is giving a very you know keen edge to the company as well and anyway the louver i feel is a look or a material which has been revived now nowadays and giving a very modern look and approaches to spaces in all 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 segments i would say maybe furniture interior walls elevations so i feel like lou like coming up with louvers is a very good approach for the company because it's the new product and it's the product which will you know stay i would say for a long very long time I feel Alu Decor, even though is coming up with new innovative products, but I've seen one feel I which I feel that they might indulge more into is interiors. I would say, so they are more like exterior based products. But I think interior is a very dynamic and ever ever evolving industry in which you know Alu Decor can you know get new products and have more research and development on different kind of you know maybe parallel materials which can be used other than you know. just composite panels wabi sabi pinterest and instagram exteriors i would say metal innovation <laughs>